Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am working from home and so I actually have my work computer in front of me as well as my cell phone and I didn't want to miss an opportunity to film a video because I've been going between the office and home for a couple of days now and I also want to get videos filmed. It's, it's interesting times we live in but I can do both. I can do both. So what I'm going to do is basically do a look with the Jaclyn Hill palette but I'm probably going to set it to music because I won't talk but I'll film it and then I'll come back at the end show you the final look and tell you my thoughts on the palette so I wanted to include a demo because I like demos with new palettes and you guys get to see me using it if you don't want to watch me use it just skip to the end and we're all good okay guys let's get into it Okay guys, so here is the final look I created using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Round 2 palette. I have had this for quite some time now and I've just been holding on to it and meaning to film with it so I figured I might as well do it while I was working from home and I've had this eye look on for quite some time now and it worked out really well. I really enjoyed playing with this palette. Okay, so now to answer the million dollar question, is it worth the hype? In my opinion, I feel like this palette was definitely overhyped to me. I saw a lot of YouTubers saying that this was like the bee's knees and I didn't really think it was that much better than the other Morphe palettes I have. Like, definitely feels like Morphe quality. I do like the fact that she incorporated some like almost neon shades in here like my man and tipsy girl are pretty bright corally shades and I think if you put them on top of a white base you'll have a really fun pop of color. I didn't try any of the neutrals so I don't have too much to say about that and the one shimmer shade I tried was nice but I wanted it to look more yellow so I added some of the Cleonade stained glass um, vibrant multi-chrome as well as some gold shadow from the Metropolis palette um, by Natasha Denona so I did try to use some other shadows to really amp it up on my face so yeah that's my first impression conclusion so far i think it is like tan girl friendly i think a lot of people are going to have this be their one and only palette i think that she should definitely keep coming out with morphe palettes like this because i know so many women in my just like regular day life that have this palette last year i took a couple of girls trips and i know a lot of my friends had morphe palettes in their makeup bag i was actually pretty shocked but it makes sense because they're in Alta now. They have their own retail stores, but I think being at Alta is a huge plus for them because a lot of people recognize the brand. And of course, a lot of big influencers talk about them still, I think. So they have really 
good reach as far as the brand goes. So Jaclyn Hill, Morphe, kind of synonymous in the makeup industry, especially when it comes to regular makeup consumers. So I can see why they did a round two. I think this is good. Is it like the best thing in my collection? Absolutely no, but I don't regret buying it. I'm excited to play with it a little bit more. And you guys will see this in my ranking video for April. So we'll see where it stacks up against all the other palettes I tried out this month. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will go ahead and link my eyeshadow palette playlist for you guys if you're curious about some other eyeshadow palettes I've tried. And I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.